Hey guys, how are you and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a new one. This is gonna be a five in, five gone type of video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you five palettes that I hold on my last trip. And I'm gonna show you five palettes from my collection that I'm gonna get rid of. So this is gonna be sort of a haul and declutter at the same time. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I have a ton of palettes in my collection, but some of them, they're not being used at all. Some of them have been super loved. I tried to use them in another way and it didn't work out. So I just wanna get rid of them and focus on the new ones without letting those go to waste. Uh, I've said it before, I have two sisters-in-law, my mom, I have a mother-in-law, so it's always good if I can give my makeup to people that will love it, even if it's already used. They don't use that much makeup, so they will. it will last for them a while. So if you want to see my 5 in, 5 gone eyeshadow palette edition, then just keep on watching. So before we go into this video, please go subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my videos. If this is your first time here, my name is Jordana and I post beauty videos and now I'm gonna be posting fashion and lifestyle videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I also have a Spanish channel and on that channel I post on Thursdays and I'm gonna leave everything linked below. The first palette that's gonna be gone is by NARS and God created the woman palette. I know it looks disgusting. I'm gonna clean it more before I give it away. And this one is broken, but it has five eyeshadows that still work. You guys can see which one is my favorite of those five. This eyeshadow palette was limited edition and it's the NARS old eyeshadow formula. This work amazingly. I love doing brown matte smoky eyes with this one. I have a look on this channel wearing one of these smoky eyes and you guys loved it. So this one, I'm gonna just find a new home for it because I could depot the eyeshadows but I know I won't be using them because I'd be more focused on eyeshadow palettes that are already put together for me and that way I can use them on my makeup I want to use monthly. The eyeshadow palette that I'm putting in my collection is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and this one I got it at TJ Maxx for a discount. I've been trying it and using it. I right now have it in my makeup I want to use this month and I like it. A few shades are better than others but I will talk about that in my video. All of these palettes that I'm showing you that I hold I've already been using because most of them I have them in that particular video that I'm also gonna leave linked below. One gone, one in. The next one that's gonna be gone it's my Lorac Pro 2 palette and this one has a few shades left, a few shades gone, but it has a ton of use left. I didn't want to give this one away because I put it on my makeup kit just for my makeup classes, but it turns out that since I want people to tell me what they love about these palettes that I'm using, I don't give classes that often, like sometimes twice a month or something like that and I do personalized classes, so it's not like I have uh, 10 people taking the class. I always want them to use the same things that I'm using, and since I'm trying these palettes that I have on my makeup I wanna use, I want them to use those. So these I've been forgetting about, and these are wonderful palettes. I will never regret getting them. These taught me a lot. I love the consistency of them, but it, they, they are being forgotten and I don't want them to go bad. I love the silver eyeshadow here, the jade color. I don't like these colors. It's, they're just not my thing, but they're beautiful. I love the mocha, beige, snow, buff. It still has a lot of light brown and nectar is one of my favorite shades of the palette. I finished a ton and I'm happy with what I got from it, I think I got my money's worth. I really used it, I really used it a ton. So this is gonna go and I'm bringing one in. And the one that I'm bringing in is the Dream Street Palette by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. And I have to say, I've been obsessing over this. I didn't think I was gonna love the Colourpop shadows, but now I'm a fan. If they're all the same consistency as the Kathleen Lights one, and she came up right now with a collaboration with another collab with Colourpop for another eyeshadow palette. And these are so inexpensive, 
but the quality is wonderful it's just there I've been gravitating towards this when I'm doing makeup on my clients it's a new palette so you can't see pan or anything but you can see that it's not that clean I've definitely used it I love these shades I love these shades like I know the colors that I'm gonna use the least are these two but even then those two are beautiful and you can use them as a pop of color so the palette it's really nice this shade right here it's just beautiful so yeah I've been really surprised with this palette and I'm happy that I put it in my collection and now that I let another one go I'm gonna be even more excited to use it because guilt takes a big place when you're a makeup hoarder like me if you don't give makeup away and it's going bad then you just feel guilty and bad because you're wasting money I don't get makeup set for free sometimes I do but it's 99% of my collection I bought with my own money so I don't want anything to be unused another one that's leaving and this one it just brings back so much memories is the Lorac Pro 1 this palette I love it I love it completely I love every shade I think the only one that I never touch I think I touched it just to swatch it is Slate but the rest of them I've used I've loved this reminds me of my trip to Los Roques, Venezuela. This is just a beautiful, cohesive palette. I've been painting 10 shades. And I know I could finish this palette up, but I want to give it away. And for the person that gets it, I think it's going to be my sister-in-law, Daniela. I want them to be able to use it more. I gave her the Lorac Pro 3 after I painted it in every shade and she uses that like crazy and I gave her the Jaclyn Hill palette also uh, a new one and she says that she loves the formula of the Lorac Pro so I think I'm gonna give both of the Lorac Pros to her and she will make the most out of them and I'm training her to be part of my makeup team so that when I have a lot of people, she can do makeup on other people. And if I give her that makeup, she'll be able to have nice products to practice with and just to do makeup with. And the one that's coming in is the Dominique Latte palette. And this one, oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this. This is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's the highlighter that I have on my nose. And this palette is just beautiful. I love the consistency. I love that those are pools not pants they're so huge and the blendability of the matte shadows is amazing the color pigmentation everything is really beautiful as always i'm talking more about the neutrals because i almost never use these shades but i really really think this palette is beautiful and when i see these two together they look similar but i'm gonna do a swatch a video maybe later showing you the differences and I know that the formula is different and it's good in both both palettes they're just both amazing and I really wanted to support Kristen Dominique I think she's one of the youtubers that have million subscribers that is just so nice and good to everyone in my opinion she looks so kind and for me that's that's a rare thing and I think that needs to be cherished so congratulations on the latte palette and i'm gonna show you also the lemonade palette which i know had a lot of inconsistencies but her company was gonna send out a better version of it and they let us keep the old version so i'm gonna show you that and i'm gonna give you my thoughts on that as well so so far three gone three in and now i'm gonna show you this one this is a Jouet eyeshadow palette and I got this, I think it was in the Makeup by Mario class and I almost never used it. I swatched it heavily, but I never used it. I have two shades that I definitely didn't touch. I touched this one the most. And these are Licorice, Merengue, Caviar and Truffle. And these are nice neutral shades for smoky eyes. This is sort of a grayish tone. This is more of a pewter tone then a nude and a black so this will work wonderful for whoever and i know it's nice to carry if you don't want to carry a ton of things then with these ones you can take them out of it or you can just shape the palette differently but these i'm gonna get rid of because i really never use them 
and then the one that I have here that's coming in is the Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette this is beautiful I already did a look with Baradero and oh my goodness I haven't had an eyeshadow with that pigmentation on that color ever it's just Something that I have to put out there because I have a picture that I really love using a blue um, eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Electric palette and that was so hard to apply. It was so patchy. I love the end result but it took forever for me to do that look. With this one, you put your brush and the pigmentation is exactly as you see in the pan. And same goes for the other shadows that I've used from this palette, from Cafecito, Coco Taxi, Tropico, La Costa. I haven't used a few of the shades, but this eyeshadow palette, I would highly recommend you trying it out. If you're Latina, then even more, because this is a Latina-owned kind of brand and it's inspired in Cuba. Last but not least, I have the Lemonade Palette by Kristen Dominique and I love a lot of these shades. I bought this palette because of the pinks and the pinks are the dots in the palette. That's why they're sending new palettes because they don't really work. They're not as pigmented. Strawberry shows a little bit pigmented on the finger but it doesn't perform as well on the eyes and Pink Lemonade, even though I scraped it and now it can swatch better is this one right here it doesn't perform that way on the eyes and the latte palette performs amazingly on the eyes so the mattes here are beautiful I've been using mango new tea I use once chai tea and um, sweet tea but I prefer the brown on the latte palette better these are all beautiful I love peach I haven't used blueberry or cucumber but I love the color scheme of the palette and it was something out of my comfort zone that I knew I could go into. So yeah, it's a beautiful packaging. I love the size of the pants and I can't wait to get the other palette that's gonna be better. But I'm gonna keep this one until I have that to compare it. And then maybe I will give this one away to one of my sisters-in-law or maybe I would just put it permanently on my kit for the mat. This is a good palette. I think they have to fix what they have to fix, but uh, the rest of the shades are beautiful. I have swatched these two, but I haven't used them on the eye, so I can't tell how they perform. But from this side out, they perform beautifully, except for the two peaks. Anyway, so the Eye Divine goes out and the Lemonade palette goes in. The Jue palette goes out and the Alamar palette comes in. The Nars I got created the woman palette goes out and the chocolate semi sweet bar palette goes in. The Lorac Pro 2 palette goes out while the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights and Color Pop comes in. The, and then the Lorac Pro 1 palette goes out and the Dominique Glace palette goes in. So those are five gone and five in. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It's short and sweet. And I hope you enjoy my thoughts. Every one palette you want to remove from your collection, one palette you want in your collection and always leave below suggestions for videos that you want to see next on my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the bell go to my instagram which is basically the only social media platform that i use and if you hit the bell you will stay tuned for every video that i post